whenever anyone asked me, like, what's the one movie you want to do? If there was one, I'd always say it'd be Wicked. On my 25th birthday, I took myself to see the show. I'd never heard anything or seen anything like it. I remember that. It was like a rainy night, and I felt really alive. I felt like I was floating on air. I had the incredible privilege of seeing the original Broadway cast of Wicked when I was 10, and I just felt an immediate bond. I'm sure that you have dreamed of playing one of the two roles. Would you be Elphaba or Glinda? Glinda? You'd be Glenda. For sure. It had a very personal effect on me. This is a very cinematic show. This should be on the big screen. There's sort of this innate understanding of what it feels like to be someone who's different. It's always been the thing that I listen to when I'm nervous, when I'm needing an escape, when I need comfort. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I went in for my first audition and I just remember being like buzzing. And when she came in, she was an Ari that I'd never seen before. And then I got the call to come in. Cynthia was so raw and vulnerable. And um, I couldn't get her out of my head. The world needs to see more of you. Uh, we would love for you to be our alphabet. It's been a really long journey. <laughs> And I'm really grateful for it. I never thought in my lifetime <laughs> that I would get to be a part of something like this. We want you to be our Glinda the Good. Oh my God, thank you. I love her so much. I'm gonna take such good care of her. Thank you so much. I want people to see Wicked and experience it in a way they've never experienced it before. I want them to feel what I felt going into that theater for the first time. I want to make them laugh, to make them sing, to make them feel that after they've watched it, they've been changed for good.